In this video, I'm gonna talk about the 2019 standard deductions, the changes, plus the max contributions to the 401k to reduce your overall taxable income and possibly put you in a lower tax bracket. But before we do, if this is your first time at our channel or you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button at the bottom. My name is Travis Sickle, Certified Financial Planner with Sickle Owner Financial Advisors. So the changes from 2018 to 2019 with the standard deduction for a single, for an individual, a single filer, it's going from 12,000 of the standard deduction in 2018 to $12,200 for 2019. So it's going up by $200. The same is true for married filing jointly, but it's going up by $400. So for 2018, it was 24,000. And for 2019, it's gonna be $24,000 four hundred dollars so that can help you reduce your overall taxable income so it's a huge benefit in addition the max contribution to the 401k is nineteen thousand dollars and that's times two if you're married filing jointly so each has the contribution limit of nineteen thousand dollars and if you're 50 or older you can tack on an additional six thousand dollars that's quite a bit of money quite a bit of savings but i want to jump into an example so you can see what it looks like if you have the standard deduction plus a max contribution savings so let's pull it up on my whiteboard so first let's take a look at the standard deduction so i pulled these numbers to show you if you were in the 22 percent tax bracket and then with the standard deduction ended up in the 12 percent tax bracket so for a single individual you have 51,675 or less in taxable income, but with that standard deduction of $12,200, that puts you in the 12% tax bracket of 39,475. So that's how you can go from the 22% tax bracket to the 12% tax bracket with the standard deduction. Now you don't have to do anything. You're going to get the standard deduction if you're a single filer, and the same is true if you're married filing jointly. So if you're married filing jointly to do the same thing, we're gonna have $24,400 in a standard deduction. So if you make $103,350, subtract the standard deduction, that's gonna put you in the 12% tax bracket for a married filing jointly. Now, if you tack on an even higher income earner for both sets, and we take a look at a single and a married filing jointly, so the single will be $19,000. So you can actually make up to $70,675 and still be able to get into the 12% tax bracket. Now that's a lot of money that you're gonna save, the 19,000 plus the standard deduction. Now, both of these have high contributions to your 401k, but it shows you that if you're looking at the tax bracket, don't in immediately assume that you're making 141,350 or 7675 that you can't get into a significantly lower tax bracket. So this is just one way where you can save and use the standard deductions to reduce your overall taxable income quite a bit. And if you've seen some of my other videos on qualifying for certain credits or deductions, this is one strategy to make that happen. So don't immediately assume when you're looking at the tax brackets that those tax brackets are related to your gross income. You wanna look at maximizing your retirement savings with the pre-tax dollars and looking at that standard deduction before you figure out which tax bracket you're in and all the credits or deductions that I've mentioned a few times that you might be able to qualify for just because you're saving a little bit more. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.